bookworms, just the bookworm here. So I want to do a um, weekend reading vlog with you guys. Um, I love bringing y'all along on my bookish adventures. Um, if you haven't seen my last vlog, go find that on my channel. Um, it was just another weekend of bookish things um and i actually went to barnes and noble i'm not planning on doing that this weekend um i think i might go to target this afternoon and maybe look for some books that i need for a upcoming um book project that i'm going to be putting on my channel probably maybe in the next month i'm hoping it just depends on how Quickly, I can get books and get them read and whatnot. Um, so kind of what's going on today, it is Friday morning. Um, it's Friday, January 22nd, and it's like almost 10 a.m. right now. Um, so today, and if you've watched past videos, you know um, I'm working as a teacher assistant this year. So I do work at a school, and um, I'm certified to teach language arts and uh, I'm a certified media specialist, but because of a cross country move, I'm working as a teacher assistant this year. I'm absolutely loving the school I'm at. And um, so today is a non-teaching day, obviously, because it's 10 o'clock. Um, and uh, we're preparing for some of the kids to return on Monday, which is super exciting. So today I have to go in and I have to be there um, at 11.30. I have to be there until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to be getting some information about the, you know, kind of reopening plan. Um, it's not going to be a full classroom of kids in each room, um, but there's a lot of, you know, safety protocols we need to go over and just the logistics of it. Um, Kids in our school will not be traveling from classroom to classroom. They will be staying in one room um, and receiving all of their instruction still virtually online, but in a physical classroom, if that makes sense. So we're going to be getting more information about that today. Um, but I figured eh, I'll get up and go ahead and get dressed a little bit early, put on my face and um, just, you know, come on here and go ahead and start this reading vlog. Um, I think I'm gonna sit here this morning and read a little bit more of um, a book that I've been reading. This is the fourth book in the Others um, series, and this one's called Marked in Flesh. These books are by Ann Bishop. Um, I would pull out the first book, but I'm not sure where I put it. The first one is called um, and this is the Others series. The first book in the series was Written in Red. And um, I'll talk a little bit more about this later, but I am going to get a little bit farther into this. Um, as we know, January is coming to a close very soon. And I'm trying to make January just a fabulous reading month. Um, but I might not read too much of this this morning because I also want to film a few other videos that I have um, ideas for. So I do want to film some other videos. Um, I finished reading last night, Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Ademe. Um, not sure if I'm saying her name correctly, but that was an amazing book. And I think I'm going to do kind of a spoilery review of that one um, just to talk about all the amazing things that she packs into that book because it is epic. So um, I might film another quick little video or two and then do a little bit of reading and I'll take you guys with me to Target if I end up going there and shopping for some more books. So I'll catch up with you guys later. I'm going to sit here drink my coffee, film some videos, do a little reading, and just kind of make this a productive Friday morning. Yay.
is getting really intense. Loving it. Um, I can't tell you too much about this book without spoiling the first one, but this series is so amazing. Um, we follow Meg, who is a blood prophet. Um, trigger warning here, she um, makes cuts and she is addicted to making these cuts. Um, but they also help to reveal prophecy that uh, can sometimes and has throughout these books help to save some of her friends. Um, in this world, it is a lot of it is like our, you know, world that we live in. Um, but several things are different uh, in this world. Humans are not the dominant species. Um, we are kind of just clever meat, as they sometimes refer to humans in here. Um, the Earth natives in this book um, kind of tolerate humans because humans make some things that and run some factories that the Earth natives enjoy and want to keep around. Um, but the humans are controlled and uh, made sure that they are doing the right things and abiding within the areas that they're allowed to by these earth natives. Um, the earth natives have taken on the form of different animals. So there's the crow guard, the bear guard, the wolf guard, so on and so forth. Um, and uh, Meg, our blood prophet, is living and she's working as the human liaison in the courtyard, um, which is one of the small areas that um, resides inside of the human territory that's meant to keep an eye on the humans, making sure that they are, again, doing what they're supposed to be doing and not um, stepping outside of their bounds. So Meg is living there with them, and she kind of changes a lot of things because uh, humans prior to that did not really interact with the Earth natives. Um, they were just kind of like a nuisance that had to be dealt with. But when she moves in with them, she changes a lot of things and she has, um, you know, friendships with other humans and it's just kind of creating this bond between some of the earth natives and humans. Um, and I just, I love this series. I think that the writing, um, that Ann Bishop does about the world makes it seem so realistic because she gives us these details about life within the courtyard and life within this world that just make it feel real because sometimes the things that she tells us are just mundane um, and that is interspersed with all of the action throughout these. So it just makes it very engaging, entertaining. It makes you feel like you are there. So I absolutely love these books um, and I love the relationship that we see that's friendship and possibly will be romance between Meg and one of the Earth natives, Simon Wolfgard, who can obviously transform um, from his human version of himself to a wolf. And I just enjoy their relationship, their friendship, their banter back and forth. I think this is just an amazing series. This is the fourth book in the series. Um, I believe there are two more books to this series. And then there's a couple of like spinoff books that take place in the same world, which I'm interested in picking up as well. So I got a little bit farther into this. I finished like a chapter and started a new one. Um, but because it is almost 11, I have to get ready to go to work and then I will check in if I end up going to Target after work and show you guys some stuff that I get there. Um, and if not, I'll check in when I get home when I'm doing some more reading. So I hope you guys have a good afternoon. I am gonna go to work. See you soon. Hi bookworms. So it is Friday afternoon now. I guess it's a little bit after three, probably quarter past three. I have finished up with work. I left there at three o'clock and now I'm here at Target. I'm going to run in. I have to get some 
grocery, just home things. Um, but I'm also going to look and see at book selection, possibly, and see if there's something that I want to get. Um, I might have some footage inside of the store. It just kind of depends on if it's um, a lot of people in there or not. So, um, but yeah, that's what I'm up to on this Friday afternoon. It's officially the weekend. Woo! did a little shopping. I'll show you guys the books that I actually picked up at Target too. I decided to just treat myself a little bit. Um, and yeah, so I'm really excited about those books. As you guys saw in the footage, Target actually has a pretty good selection of books. I liked their displays they had set up. So, um, but anyway, I will see you guys when I get to the house. Bye. Hi bookworms, Jess the bookworm here. It is Friday afternoon um, at almost five o'clock in the afternoon. I left work and went to Target, which you guys already saw that, and I've made it home. Um, I did treat myself to um, a couple of books and I love the, the displays and stuff they had. I, I guess I haven't shopped in Target for books very much, but I was impressed by the, the display there. Um, so the two books that I got that I have heard about, I believe, yeah, I've definitely heard about both of them here on booktube and just had to get them, had to treat myself. So one of them is When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. This one is a psychological thriller, which I love. Um, and this one says, Sydney Green is Brooklyn born and raised, but her beloved neighborhood seems to change every time she blinks. Condos are sprouting up for sale signs and neighbors she's known all her, all her life are disappearing. Um, to hold on to her community, she channels her frustration into a walking tour and finds an unlikely and unwanted assistant in one of the new arrivals on the block, her neighbor, Theo. And Sydney and Theo's deep dive into history quickly becomes a dizzying descent into paranoia, paranoia and fear. Their neighbors may have not moved out of the suburbs after all, and the push to revitalize the community may be more deadly than advertised. So this sounds pretty intense. Um, I am definitely looking forward to this. I love, like, you felt like this curtain kind of peeking open, like somebody's looking out. Yeah. I like this. I like this cover though. And I'm, I'm excited to read about Brooklyn. I, I love anything about New York City. So yay. The next one that I got that I'm excited about, and this is such a stunning cover. Oh my gosh. I love it. Clap When You Land um, by Elizabeth Acevedo. I did read The Poet X and um, I really want to read with the hot, with the fire on high. I've heard incredible things about those and I've heard incredible things about this. This is just such a beautiful book. Oh, it kind of like matches what I got going on today. Love that. Um, and this one says Camino, Camino, I think I'm saying that Rios lives for the summer's when her father visits her in the Dominican Republic. But this year on the day when the plane is supposed to land, Camino arrives at the airport to see crowds of crying people. Um, and then in New York City, Yaharia Rios is called to the principal's office where her mother is waiting to tell her that her father, her hero, has died in a plane crash. And then we get um, this look into their father's lives and these two girls do not know each other. And um, they're, you know, realizing that their father has a daughter in each of these places and they are learning about each other and about their father and dealing with grief and things like that. And I just love this cover where we get to see both of the girls. I'm not sure which is which I'll have to figure that out while I'm reading it, 
but I'm so excited about this. I think this is going to be an amazing read. Um, so looking forward to this. Yay. So those are my two books that I got from Target and I am going to dig into those super fast. So kind of my game plan for this weekend is to just get a bunch of reading done. I think I counted yesterday and have maybe nine books. Nine books that either I've finished reading already or I'm like in the process of reading and will finish before January. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy about having, um, you know, a pretty, pretty decent amount of books to start out the year with. Um, I'm one of these might end up being a January read as well because I'm really excited about both of these. Um, so that's kind of the game plan for this weekend. I don't really plan on doing much of anything. Um, Monday back at work is going to be a little bit more intense than normal, I would say, because we are getting used to a whole new way of doing things because we have students that are coming back learning in person. So I'm really excited about that, but I also know that Monday is going to be like probably a little bit more stressful. So I'm trying to have a very relaxing weekend and just get some reading in. So glad you guys are sticking around for this vlog. Um, probably going to go take a shower, get comfortable and have some dinner and do some reading. Hi. So it's uh, 5.30 now, and I am still Friday afternoon. Ooh, I have a spot on my face. I am freshly showered in my comfy pajamas, sitting here drinking some coffee in this huge mug. 2008 is when I graduated, by the way. From high school. I'm a little bit old. Anyway, drinking my coffee. I'm about to jump into um, Marked in Flesh, um, which I talked about this earlier in the vlog. I'm going to keep going with this and just try and get, I'm on page 158 right now. If I can get to like page 200 before I stop and like get dinner and things, then I would be super happy. So I'm going to see if I can get some of that read. If you want to join me for a little bit of reading, get comfy with your book and with your um, possibly caffeinated beverage and uh, let's get started. seven o'clock now. I've had dinner and um, just been hanging out and um, picked this back up. I'm still reading. The part that I'm at right now is just oh so crazy, so intense. Um, in this book, and I, I don't want to tell too much because I don't want to give away any spoilers, but there is a group of people who believe that humans should be in charge of everything. And in this world, humans are not. Um, the Earth natives are the people who are in charge of everything. Um, 
and that's creating some division. It's creating some problems between the people who um, agree with the human first and last movement versus people who agree with the earth natives and kind of want to keep the peace and remain, you know, friendly with them. And so it's creating some tension um, for characters and there's like some um, like destruction of property and people just being, um, you know, persecuted for their beliefs. And it's just an intense part of the book. Um, but I'm, I'm really enjoying this one. Um, like all of the other books in this series, we get pretty complex characters and there's a good amount of backstory for all of our, you know, non-main characters, which I appreciate. Um, I just think it fills out the world a bit more and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to sit here and keep reading. I'm going to try and find like a reading sprint or something just to help keep me motivated. Um, but I also have a little bit of a headache and obviously it's like too dark to be able to film properly. We don't have enough good light, but um, I'll probably read a little bit more. I might take like a short nap and then um, pick back up with reading and I'll check in later. Hi, you guys. So it is technically Saturday now because it is 12.04. Um, and I ended up not reading a ton. So I had dinner. I did read a little bit more. Um, but I laid down and took like a three hour nap. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be up kind of late tonight. Um, but I had a headache and I was just like, mm -mm, I need to lay down and just like rest. And I'm feeling a lot better now. Headache is gone. Um, thank goodness. So I'll probably be up and reading a little bit more. I don't know if I'm going to check in any more tonight. But I will see you guys in the morning and just kind of talk through my reading plans for the day and a little bit more about my book that I'm absolutely loving. And yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hi, you guys. Good morning. Um, so it is Saturday the 23rd and it's like getting close to 1130. The reason I still look so sleepy is because I slept until like 11. Oops. Um, I uh, ended up staying up last night until like um, 2 a.m. and you want to say hi to Marley? <laughs> I ended up staying last night um, until like 2 a.m. My husband came home and we ended up watching um, a show for a little bit. And then I read a little bit more of my book before I went to sleep. Come say hi, Marley. You want to say hi? Say hi. Say hi, people. Aren't they beautiful? My beautiful blue-eyed baby. Um, so, uh, what was I saying? Oh, we watched um, a show last night, and it was actually based on the series that's um, based on The Stand by Stephen King. And I read this um, a little while ago. So, we watched the first episode, and they made some choices that I'm not sure if I like yet. I'm gonna have to watch more of it, but like the first um, episode, and just briefly what this is about, if you haven't seen me talk about this before, um, there is a uh, weaponized virus that has escaped from a facility. And by escaped, I mean a person escaped um, after it leaked out. It is highly deadly, highly contagious, and it ends up killing like 95 or 99 percent of the world's population this story gives us 
um, a ton of characters and we hear about all um, how all of these characters are dealing with the um, like new world and how that there's not a ton of people and um, dealing with all of the you know problems that arise you know not having people who know how to keep the electricity on and um, not having doctors and things like that so but this gives us so many different perspectives within the story and it kind of follows you know the same basic timeline um, and there are some supernatural happenings in this too but what they decided to do with the um, show is they've given us like one set of characters and we've seen their story like in flash backs and flash forwards we've seen kind of their whole character arc at least for one of the characters and i just i felt like when i was watching with my husband that i had to kind of explain to him okay you know this character these things happened before you know this piece happened it was just I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. I feel like it is going to still get the same point across, but a lot of stuff is shown that happens closer to the end of the book. And I just feel like for people who haven't read the book, it just kind of, you know, is like, wait, what's going on? Like, where are all these people? We just saw that there's like not a lot of people left, but now we're seeing a bunch of people. So anyway, oh, there's my water for my coffee. We use a French press for our coffee, so we just boil water in a little kettle and then pour it over the the coffee, and in a couple of minutes, I can caress it and drink the coffee. So anyway, um, the TV series of The Stand, not sure how I'm feeling about it. Again, I, I always feel like, though, the book is better than any movie or TV show adaptation. I just, I don't know. I feel like if I read the book first, I'm always going to love that more than the movie or TV adaptation. If I see the movie or TV adaptation before I read the book, sometimes I like, um, like the show better, but I don't know. For this one, yeah, I'm, I'm liking the book, even though it's, um, pretty hefty read. But anyway, um, so today my only plans are to stay completely cozy and read. Read, 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 read. So that's the game plan today. And yeah, hang around to see if I get up to anything more interesting. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Okay, so it's been a while since I... <laughs> Checked in with you guys. Sorry, I have since uh, taken a nap, had dinner, showered, done some laundry, just little basic things. Um, right now it is quarter past eight and um, it's still Saturday, so I'll make sure that <laughs> I possibly check in tomorrow. I don't know. Ignore me. I'm not sure. If I'm going to end this tonight or check in tomorrow or what, but, um, I have read a little bit more of my book. Not too much though, because nap and dinner and everything else. Um, I do plan on reading more tonight. I'm actually watching a, um, or I was, I turned it off. Um, so I could check in with you guys real fast, but, um, I am on a reading sprint with Bounded and Bookmarked. So I'm gonna try and get some more reading done or at least be productive, probably start editing this video. And I actually wanna film a video real quick doing a review, I'm gonna make it a non-spoiler review of Children of Blood and Bone um, by Tony, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Ademe. Ademe? I hope I'm saying that. I'm gonna have to look it up before I do this video. But um, I loved, loved, loved that book. It was amazing, hands down. 
and I just want to do like a quick review on that because I think it's probably going to be like one of my favorite books of the year or at least it's going to be up there in the top like 10 books of the year so I want to do a review on that one I think I'll do that super fast and then read some more and I'll try and check in with you guys before I go to bed so hope y'all are doing good I'll check in again soon bye Hello, so it is like almost 10 o'clock and I'm having some um, vegan chicken nuggets. They're Morningstar vegan nuggets. Um, I normally try to not like eat late at night, but I'm feeling kind of hungry. So, mm. Mm. <laughs> but I just wanted to check in. I have been reading, though I got distracted by like YouTube videos, and then I was looking at things about growing like stronger nails, because I can never seem to grow mine very long. They like tend to break. I've got this um, Sally Hansen hard as nails uh, stuff on right now, so to try and keep them from breaking but yeah so probably not gonna check in anymore tonight um I think I'm just gonna get like cozy and keep reading my husband should be home from work probably in like an hour and we might end up watching another episode of The Stand um which I talked about before we watched the second episode in that series today and they kind of did it the same as they did the first one. We get another, you know, set of characters where in the book we get all of these character stories interspersed throughout. But I think that they want to just focus on like one set of characters and their character arc throughout, you know, a single episode, which I guess makes sense um, because it can be a little bit confusing to see all these different characters and all of their different stories like it was daunting in the book but I did enjoy it that way um because I feel like it could be very confusing if you hadn't read the book and you're seeing like the beginning and then like the end and then way back at the beginning of this one character story there's a lot of flashbacks and flash forwards so anyway it's pretty good um the casting choices have been okay um, so I am looking forward to seeing where it goes and seeing how, you know, they bring all the storylines together. Um, it's not going to be as good as the book. I already know that, but still excited to finish watching it. So I'm going to sign off for tonight, finish my vegan nuggets, and, um, yeah, I'll check in with you guys in the morning. See ya. Good morning, bookworms. So it is Sunday um, morning at about 10.30, and I've just had like a lazy morning. I woke up and laid in bed and watched just like videos, just got lost in an internet hole. <laughs> um, I'm boiling water to make my coffee, sitting here with Ms. Marley, um, my cat. And yeah, so, I'm thinking this morning I will do some reading. I've got a nonfiction book that um, that I really need to get into a little bit more. Um, I don't want to talk about that. Hi, baby. I don't want to talk about that um, nonfiction book and what it's about yet because I'm hoping to be making a video all about it and all about the topic that it addresses soon. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try and read some of that and just kind of have a peaceful, relaxing morning. Um, I also might edit a uh, review video that I filmed last night um, about the novel Children of Blood and Bone because I loved that. So I'm going to try and get that up probably sometime this week. And yeah, so I'm going to try and post this 
reading vlog tonight. Say hi, Marley. You're so beautiful. I'm gonna try and post that reading, this reading vlog tonight. So, um, yeah. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hi. So it's um about 1:30 on Sunday, and um, I know I checked in earlier and was just talking about filming some videos and reading, and I did. I filmed a spoiler free review of children of blood and bone that I've scheduled to go up on um, I think Wednesday of this week so um, I've just been reading some more I've got like a little over a hundred pages left in um, Ann Bishop's marked in flesh this is the fourth I want to say the fourth um, book in the series. I think there's one more after this and then two other books that are in the same world. I'm loving it. Things have definitely intensified and I love how each book has, you know, some major events that happen um, that make you want to keep reading, but we have like an overarching kind of like event that has been, you know, taking place throughout all of these books and that involves the humans and the earth natives and kind of like how they're working together or not working together um so this is definitely intensified a lot i'm loving like the relationship between meg and simon um it's just like this interspecies friendship possibly going to be more than friendship so kind of waiting for that <laughs> Um, but I'm going to keep reading this. I'm kind of hoping to finish this this afternoon, but I'm not too sure. Um, again, it's only 1.30, so I've got some time. My husband's going to be getting off of work probably around 4 or 5, and so he'll be coming home, and we're probably going to have dinner together and watch some more of uh, The Stand, maybe another episode of the stand series um based on the stephen king novel the stand um and yeah so that's probably all i'm gonna do this afternoon and then just finish getting ready for next week i always pick out all of my outfits for the whole week and try and prepare you know like my the next day's lunch the night before so i need to take care of that and just be ready for monday morning which um should be pretty exciting we've got the first um kind of group of kids that are coming back into the actual school building um instead of just being virtual like we have been so i'm excited about that and yeah so i hope you guys have a great day or night or afternoon or morning or evening or whenever you're watching this and i'll see y'all later bye